Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to show you how to select text in Microsoft Word. When you start a Microsoft Word document, you'll have a blank document. Type in equals R A N D and then an open and close print. Press enter. You'll get random paragraphs on your screen. To select a paragraph, most people drag over it. Don't do that. Just triple left click any word. Three, click, three clicks will select the paragraph. Then using the mini toolbar, you can make it bold, italics, change the font size. I'll do it one more time. Triple click. If you don't want to use the mini toolbar, I'm going to use the font group. I'm going to clear the formatting. And I'm going to make it italics underline. If you don't like that underline, hit the drop down. Pick a different underline. Change the font size to 15. Just type in the number 15 and press enter. Change the font color. Live preview works when you're changing the font colors. I'm going to clear the formatting again. You want to select the entire document using the mouse. So when you're inside the paragraph, a triple click will select the paragraph. I'm now over in what's called the selection bar. Your mouse points northeast. A double click will highlight the paragraph. That was two left clicks, two left clicks. But a triple click in the selection bar will select the document. And the reason I selected the document is I want the font size to be 11.5. Saw 11.5, the document still selected. Over in the paragraph group, it's left align, center, align to the right, and justified. It's your preference between justified versus left align. If your company has a style guide, follow the style guide. I'll leave it left aligned for now. Concerning uh, spacing, select again, triple click. Right now the spacing is 1.15. We'll make it single space. I'm, on, I'm also going to remove the space after the paragraph. So if you look at this document, we're back into the really old Word 2003, Word 2002. This is how the spacing looked. So let's do something with it. Triple click. There's double spacing. There's one and a half. I'm going to leave it at 1.15. If you notice though, when one paragraph ends, such as right here at galleries, and then the word themes, there's not much space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the dialog box for paragraph. Spacing before and spacing after. I'm going to hit after two times. The up arrow, it makes it go to 12 points. Click OK. So after each paragraph ends, I get 12 points of space. If you don't like 12, you can come right back in here. Make it 18. So it's just a matter of trial and error what you like. And if you don't like any of these numbers, I'm going to make it 9. You don't have to type in the PT for points. Click on OK. And there's your paragraph spacing. We'll have some more Word Intermediate and more Word Essential videos up by the end of this week.